Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a video called No More Slip and Fall. We're installing Marine Mat on a boat. We're gonna show you how to turn this into this. So you're probably asking, how do you avoid a slip and fall on your boat? We do that by adding non-skid. Today we're doing an install for Marine Mat. We're gonna show you some really simple, easy tips on how to do it yourself. Any DIY guy can do this with just following these simple steps. Let's get into it. To install your Marine Mat pad, you're gonna need a few tools. First thing you're gonna need is a rag, like you see Drew here, my good friend Drew's with us here today. He helps us with installations here at Jet Boat Pilot. He does this for a living, so he's got some interesting pro tips and tricks he's gonna teach us along the way. We're gonna have some rags, acetone. Acetone's important for wiping down the surface and getting any sort of uh, oils or um, a boat, brand new boat coming out of the factory is gonna have a mold release compound, so getting those sorts of things off the boat. So we're just prepping the boat with the acetone and the rags. Also, although not included with the kit and not mandatory, if you want the absolute best stick, we recommend a 3M primer called Primer 94. We'll put a link in the description below. You can buy some. Uh, you can find this on our website uh, or also on Amazon. Uh, so this is gonna give you a gr much greater bond strength uh, for your pads in case you just really want them super, super stuck. Uh, using the Primer 94, you're gonna wanna use some rubber gloves and also have some sort of a small brush to apply it. Makes it much easier to apply it with precision. Also, a razor blade of sorts, an X-Acto blade uh, for taking the paper and splitting it along the back when you are installing your pads. Also, we'll put a link in the description below for this as well, the slice tool, you can get this off Amazon. It's got a tiny little ceramic blade that's just about the same thickness or length as the thickness of the paper, which is gonna allow you to make perfect splits in the paper without damaging the pad as you remove the paper. So this is a cool little tool that we've used. It's really saved us a lot of time and saved us some money over the years. All right, to do this install quickly and easily, the first thing you wanna do, step one, is your pre-layout. And the reason we do pre-layout is because if you're doing primer, we wanna know which areas need to be primed and which areas really don't need to be primed. We typically prime around openings or around perimeters. Areas like inside these central areas are not as important to prime. You just wanna prime where you might get pad lift. That's step one. All right, so step two, we're gonna remove all of our pads and we're gonna start prepping the surface. So first thing we'll do is we're gonna acetone. You can use alcohol uh, IPA, but acetone we found dries faster, so we like to use acetone. A little pro tip for you here, be cautious with the acetone, uh, getting around vinyl or things like this, it can cause damage. Just try to make sure you uh, pay attention to that. Another pro tip, super important to make sure you're very aggressive and very liberal with your application of acetone because if the boat does have any mold release compounds on it from the factory, especially on new boats, you're really gonna need to get all that off. Uh, the pads will not stick well uh, to mold release compound. Step three, if you have opted to do the primer 94 step, you wanna do this next. What you'll do is you'll take your screwdriver, pop the cap off, use your brush and paint on the areas around the openings and around the perimeter. If you feel like you've gotten too much uh, in place and you want to remove some, it wipes off very easily with alcohol or with rubbing uh, with uh, acetone. So you can wipe that off after you've done your install. But don't do that now. Wait until you're done with your install and then do any sort of removal after the install. You know, here at Jet Boat Pilot, we're really only into one thing, and that's making parts and accessories and video content that help you get more out of boating. If you'll subscribe to our channel, you're going to see video content that we put out all the time that's going to really help you be a better boater. Another pro tip for you here, as you use the slice tool here, you notice he's splitting the paper. We're gonna flip this paper back on both sides. We're only gonna split it back about, about two inches or so. And when you see that you have a hole like this, go ahead and bring the paper back just beyond the hole. Because if you don't, you could actually leave some paper behind during the install. We also split the paper like this to reveal the center. When we flip this pad over, it helps us to lightly tack the pad in place and we can avoid having to use the tape to take the corners. It just speeds the process up. Another pro tip for you here in this plank pattern that we have, this is a two inch plank pattern. Even with your teak patterns, the lines have part to part orientation. So you can see with this perspective, each line lines up with the next. So make sure when you're laying these pads out that you take the time to line them up. For our sea switch owners that are installing this kit on their sea switch, if you have the ski pylon, you're gonna have this bracket here. These two pads will not be used. However, if you do not have the ski pylon, you'll obviously stick these down in this place and this one goes around your little flag or your uh, navigation light insert on the deck. All right, last step here, step five. We're gonna talk about the final steps. So you may notice that when you're done that there's a little air bubble that starts to kind of pop up, especially if you're doing this out in the sun. 
Uh, try to do this install in the shade if you can. If you have to do it in the sunlight, uh, do it in temperatures 60 degrees and above. And if you see an air bubble start to kind of pop up, don't worry. Just get you a little push pin, pop the air bubble, let it the air escape. As it escapes, press down hard, it'll stick. Also too, uh, press all your edges. So around the perimeters, we're gonna go around and press. Anywhere we have a opportunity for water to get in, gonna really press those edges hard. Uh, anywhere inside where you see these little cutaways here, little holes, press all those down all over the entire boat. If you like this kit, you want to see a kit like this, check us out jetboatpilot.com. We'll put a link in the description below for this pad. If you have existing non-skid pads that you have to remove before you do this install, watch this video. And if you want to find out more information about using the primer, watch this video.